what's up on my power ass crew there's something missing Ta -da. let's show you how to take a glove box out of a yj today sound good all right watch this video i'll show you how it's done now here we go you guys get a preview of what's coming up plus you get a full-blown tutorial video all at the same time we're removing this glove box how do you remove a glove box in a yj let's start out with you got three screws here, 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 Phillips head screws. Then once you do that, you got right here, five sixteenths. You got one, two, three, four. That gets the door out of the way. That gets this loose. But the fun ones, I'll have to show you here in a moment. So let me get these out. Again, three Phillips head screws here, here, here. These are five sixteenths. One here, 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 here. You get these out and I'll be right back. Now once you get those three screws out up here, and these four screws right here, there are two back up underneath the dash that are right, right along in here and right along in there. But we'll try to go over it. So I'll get the camera up underneath there, see if we can get to it. Okay, look right there. See the two Phillips head screws? Okay, see the little black post sticking out right there? Right beside there, you see two Phillips head screws. Those two screws need to come out. So let me drop the camera down a little bit, give you guys an idea of where it's at. Bottom of the glove box here, we come up. Move that light out of the way. I'm gonna shine the light back up right again, right there. And now the other side is gonna be the same way. So I'm gonna pull the camera out so you see. Like right there is a glove box. Bring it under, bring it under. And there they are. I mean, so I, right there is your heater box. So we're gonna come over here on the other side, going toward the center of the dash. Look right there. See those two Phillips head screws? Right there's the bottom of the radio. Those two Phillips head screws got to come out on each end. So here's what I rigged up to get them out. Phillips head bit, quarter inch socket, ratchet. The bit kept wanting to fall out, kind of make it kind of can takers get up in there. So I took me a little bit of electrical tape, put it on the end of it, stuffed it up in there. Look at that, it don't fall out no more. So from here, I went under like that right there and just fell for it till I hit the screws, backed them out, got them both out. Over here, I had very little room to work, so I went ahead and pulled the radio out of it, which allowed me to come from the bottom here. I stuck my hand, my right hand in through here to hold it in place as I cranked the screws out. Made it so much easier. So now, look at here. Then we pull this out through here. There we go. Now your wiring harness was stuck up inside this right here, made it a little bit cumbersome to pull out. At first I thought, wait a minute, this thing got a glove box light in it? They're like, well I didn't notice that. It doesn't, so hey, all good. So there you go, now the back side of your speaker is right back here. And let's see, right there, this one right here, right there it is. Come over this way, there's that one, super easy to get to for this side now. Sweet. Oh, check this out. So the radio is junk. I mean, this is rust bucket, so, you know, it's just my toy. What kind of jack leg crap's that whenever you go weld your mount, radio mount, to the uh, mount that goes to the dash? That's just nuts, people, really. The weird things people do, but that's all right, I reckon. I'll just cut that off and do something. Heck, I'm probably not going to use this dash anyway. I'm going to build a custom dashboard. Anyway, that's how you get a glove box out. If you want to put it back in, stick your wiring harness back inside that groove right there, put your screws back in, and you're good to go. But it's not going back in, so there you go. Right here is where those Phillips head screws went through, right there and right there. Now, some of the older generation YJs did not have Phillips head screws. They actually had 7 16 nuts on the back side. Man, that big old thing right there makes me want to put some kind of uh, LCD screen there for like... I don't know, touch screen, nah, I wouldn't do all that. But I am kind of a computer nerd, it wouldn't be hard to do. Hmm. Now since we got all this out, I'll give you guys another quick little demonstration, that, that way you can see through here, how I had my hand position going on for getting this out. Right hand, I had it tucked up underneath here, like right here. I had to grab this wiring harness, because you can grab it from right here on this side over here. And pull it down, even though it's stuck in the glove box, you can pull it down just enough to get above it. You can get to that top screw up here. 
then get to the bottom screw here. And once they come out for so far, I was able to take my fingers and just back them out. Now the ones over here, what I end up doing, pulled out the radio obviously, and for a YJ that's super easy. Screw here, screw here, the whole thing slides out, unplug your wiring harness, unplug your antenna, and it's out. It's easy. Super easy. And once I got it out, got it here across it like this. I took the ratchet, came up under like this, holding the back of it like this, had my hand through here, cranking, 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 cranking with the ratchet until I got the screw loose enough. Now I took my hand, back them right out. So, my Power Riders crew, did you learn a little something, something? Did you enjoy removing the glove box thing? Right there's your screws that you gotta take out, right there, and right there. And remember, like I mentioned earlier, the first generation YJs is gonna have um, 716 nuts back there. The older generation YJs have Phillips head screwdrivers, okay? Sweet. So this is arm preparation of one. I'm taking most of the stuff out of the dash of uh, rust bucket anyway, so it's a lot of this stuff I'm not even gonna use. Two, I want these speakers out, and because they got spacer rings on them, that's going for the 91 right there. The 91, look at it, it's kind of jealous, isn't it? It's looking at me, it's getting me that evil eye. Like, why are you working on that Jeep and not me? I'm jealous, yes. Okay, I'm over. It doesn't realize I'm getting these spacer rings out from behind these speakers to go in the speakers and that. There's gonna be how to install speakers in the dash of a YJ coming soon. So if you guys enjoyed this video, hit me with a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, leave us cool comments down below, and I really appreciate you hanging out with me. Peace out. Later, y'all.